Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makarkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. Say Shalom to your Akim out there. And this is a just a little quick sit down lesson that I wanted to bring out. And the title of this lesson is going to be uh, Wisdom and Knowledge Should It Be the Stability of Thy Time. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And it reads And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength, and, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? Because the fear of the Lord is his treasure. You know, uh, continue to do the, continue to do the ways and follow the righteous path of the heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and our Savior, uh, Yahweh Shai. For your ignorant call, JC, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. You know, the fear of the Lord is our treasure. You know, especially us Israelites, having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. In the stability of thy times, you know, have that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, the righteous path of Yahweh, Yahweh Yahvashai, you know, and with that wisdom of Yahweh Yahvashai, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Yahvashai to the best of our ability, you know, and we should have a uh, stability, a uh, right frame of mind. A good, solid, balanced, right frame of mind in the, you know, in the times that we are currently in, and the times that are ahead as well too, you know, because these scriptures are a comfort, you know, the words of Yahweh Shemal Shai is comfort as well too, you know, and to have it to keep our mind stable in the righteous path, you know. <clears throat> That's why I say it's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be the stability of our times, you know. And this is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Right, as long as we uh, keep uh, consistently, constantly, to the best of our ability, seek the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. That's why we uh, continue uh, follow the righteous path of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and seek the kingdom of Yahweh, you know, the righteous kingdom established of Yahweh, you know, and, and follow his righteousness, you know, to the best of our ability, you know, as long as he give us that opportunity and chance, you know, to be able to wake up to see another day and give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know, giving praise and reverence to the Heavenly Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai for us to be able to do this, uh, uh, this beautiful uh, work of the Heavenly Father Yahweh and His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, you know, what making this humbleness and sincerity to the best of our ability, you know. That's why we seek the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, you know, seeking righteousness to the best of our ability, you know, because the Heavenly Father, he give us mercy, mercy you know, because he's a, a merciful Heavenly Father, you know, and then, because we don't want to be on the wrong path for the Heavenly Father, because he's going to show his wrath, you know, even though he's slow to anger, but he will show his wrath, you know. Like uh, Exodus 15 3 said, Yahweh thy power is a man of war. Well, you know, he uh, he show his people mercy as well, too. You know, that's why we uh, seek the kingdom of Yahweh and seek his righteousness. You know, seek his righteousness while we still have the opportunity and chance to do that. You know, like the scripture says, seek the heavenly father where he may be found. You know, that's why we seek in Yahweh thy power where he's being found right now through his service to his prophets of Yahweh Shai, you know. Matthew 6 and 33. 
but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh thy power and his righteousness and all these things should be added unto you right all these things should be added unto us the things that we ask for him in our daily daily life uh, we ask for his forgiveness we ask for him waking us up see another day we ask for him and we thank him the water Yahweh Al Shai for the things that we currently have and not take it for granted you know and not taking this truth for granted you know which I did and my mistake and on that may Yahweh Al Shai forgive me and have mercy on me for that you know and getting me out of that double mind spirit which I just did a, a video on that uh, a couple minutes ago you know we seek his uh seek the kingdom of Yahweh and definitely seek his righteousness to the best of our ability you know and all these things be added on unto us you know and that's a beautiful thing he give us an opportunity and chance to do so of that you know uh so with that i just wanted to bring out this little quick sit down lesson in regards to the isaiah 33 and 6 of uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times you know so having that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in the stability of thy times that's currently coming soon and the times that we are currently in as well too. Having that uh, right, stable mind in your how about Shemel Shah with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And it's a beautiful thing. We have an opportunity and chance to follow that righteous path and do the ways of your how about Shemel Shah. And he giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to us, you know. And so with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakakadash. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim, who scattered in the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out and a barber ball.